New this morning, this could top the list of things you didn't know you <laughs> needed until you hear about it. It's an electric shovel and it's, <laughs> and it's being made right here in Indiana. I know, so the Hoosier behind it believes it is the first of its kind. Yeah. Carlos was able to talk to him about it and he's also got a pretty young co-designer on this, Carlos. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. His name is Rick Gorn. He's the uh, the older, uh, if you will, of the two of the, the combination. And Rick, by the way, came up with the cube, which is a Q-tip dispenser. So obviously, he's got experience when it comes to inventing things. But for his latest invention, the Roto Shovel, which he says is the world's first electric shovel, he had to turn to some younger help. A high school student from Fishers helped develop this invention right there in Fishers, Indiana. I got a chance to talk to both of them, and they said. They're really digging this. Rick Gorin from Fishers came up with a great idea about how to make the better shovel. So tell me how tell me how this all started. Well, I came outside to dig a hole to put some speakers in the ground one night, and I went in the garage and looked for uh, the shovels and the post hole diggers, put the gloves on, came outside and started digging, and I thought, there's got to be an easier way. Somebody has to have an electric shovel I can just rent. And you couldn't find it anywhere? I couldn't find it anywhere. I made a phone call, and the guy said, what are you drinking? There's no such thing as an electric shovel. So you're saying to yourself, OK, hold on. I can actually make something that's not out there right now. Yeah, so I've done inventions in the past. I thought, well, I'll just draw it up, cut some pictures out of the Sunday paper, and see what I can come up with for an electric shovel. I went into Rick's office one day, and um, he gave me this paper of a drawing of a really cool invention that he had an idea for. And he asked me if I could make it. And a week went by and I gave him a full prototype of the thing, that, of the roto shovel that I made on my 3D printer with some motors and batteries. We learned how to build the uh, roto shovel based on that. It's battery operated, it's a, where's the battery? It's a battery operated, uh, rechargeable, two amp hour lithium battery, just like a, a portable drill. Show us how it works, okay. So you stick the shovel you part stick the into shovel, the shovel, which will hold the, uh, which will keep it from torque, and it just digs a hole. Why had no one come up with that until a guy from Fishers came up with this thing. I went to a trade show and uh, Cobalt came up and asked, uh, how did you come up with it? And I told him the story and he said we couldn't quite get there. And so some of the larger manufacturers were looking at building an electric shovel and just didn't do it. You've come up with several different inventions in your life. Has any invention showed as much promise as this one? No, this one has a lot of promise. This one could do uh, really big numbers. And when you say really big numbers, what are you talking about? Uh, this could be in the hundreds of millions in a few years because the shovel's never been reinvented. And we have a bigger version coming out called Roto Shovel 2. What do your teachers say about you being part of this invention? They're pretty impressed by it. And um, I'm really excited to get it in the hands of them pretty soon now that we've got a full production of it. The old adage is, if you build a better mousetrap, the world will beat a path to your door. Have you yes. built the better mousetrap here? I think so. We have the first electric shovel in the world. I love that combination. I love both those guys. And you know what? If you're looking to actually buy this roto you can buy it right now on Amazon. I found it last night for around 100 bucks on Amazon, the, uh, the authentic roto shovel. And I talked to Rick, he's trying to get him into Costco right now. He says he's working on a deal with Costco. And guys, I'm telling you right now, and Chuck, you'll appreciate this. It's pouring down rain here at the station, which means the ground is nice and soft. I so badly want to get out there and dig some holes, but I don't think the management here at WTHR <laughs> would appreciate me digging up the front yard here at the station, although I so badly want to. <laughs> that is just great, Carlos. You have brought us so many stories about this Hoosier entrepreneurial <laughs> spirit and enthusiasm. Uh, and this is one of them. I, I mean, it's a great idea because, uh, Julia, j you just let the machine work for you. You don't even have to do anything. And you know what? I love it because um, a lot of times that like there are cl it's our grounds like a clay ground. It's so hard to dig in. And um, yeah. uh, so many of my plants that I've planted have died because I never dig down far enough because of that. So. Chuck, this might just be my thing.